Hey, second graders. Um, so we started a story this week. Um, we are on module eight. No, excuse me, module seven, week two. And this week's story is titled um, How to Make a Timeline. So last week I posted a video of reading the entire story. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what's best to post for you guys. And so um, I'm going to go over a couple things, but then I'm going to focus on those pages that have to, um, that match up with that comprehension sheet. And this week, those pages are, um, or that page is page 194. And that's that page where we have those questions that go with certain pages in our story, and then we answer those questions. So instead of reading the entire story, um, I'm going to focus on those pages with you guys to help you out um, on those on that comprehension um, side of things. Okay, so I am also going to right now share my screen with you. So just give me a, a second here. Okay, so you guys should be seeing this page in, in your in your um, my book. This is page um, 50. Um, and we're just going to talk about this for a little bit. So the story, How to Make a Timeline, is a procedural text. And that tells readers how to do or make something. So what we're going to learn about, or what you're going to learn about, is how to make a timeline. Um, so when you read this story, um, How to Make a Timeline, notice that there are directions for us to follow a list of materials needed for the project, the model or picture of what the final project will look like, and steps that show order. And remember, we talked about chronological order this year. And chronological order is the steps in order. You know, first, second, third. What do you have to do? Um, so we're going to set a purpose, or you should have set a purpose for your reading. And that was to, as you read, I want you to stop and think if you don't understand something. So if you don't understand something, I want you to reread, ask yourself questions, use what you already know, and look for visual clues to help you understand the text. So visual could be those pictures if they have um, graphs, that kind of stuff. Look at those specific headings, okay? So um, let me get to the page that, again, so I'm not gonna read the whole story. We're gonna look at those comprehension questions. Um, and for the very first one, we are going to look Pages 54 and 55. So I'm going to get to those quick. 54, how to make a timeline, page 54 and 55. So by now, you, you should have already read the story at least a couple times. Oh, and I went back to 54. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to read pages 54 and 55 just like I would have done in class. And then I'm going to have some questions for you guys and things that you need to focus on to answer those comprehension questions in the packet, okay? So it says, Tremaine's timeline. Tremaine made a timeline of his life. Read the statements he wrote. What ideas can you get from Tremaine's time timeline to make one about your own life? To make a timeline about your life, think about events from the past that are special to you. For example, when were you born? What exciting things have happened to you? Have you won an award or learned a new skill? Write down the dates of important events in your life. If you need help thinking of events or dates, ask family members. You might even learn more about yourself. So let's get started. So here is his timeline. And it looks like a baby. So he was born on February 13th, 2012. Um, and then it shows, actually, and I can see wrong. Perfect. He was born in Dallas, Texas in 2016. And so it has the date. Some of them don't have the exact date, but it has the year that that special thing happened. Um, in 2016, he became a big brother. In the spring of 2018, he re received an award from the library. In the summer 2018, he started taking photography class. October 25th, 2018, he started taking trumpet lessons. And in 2019, he helped to plant a tree. So if you notice, this timeline goes in chronological order. It doesn't go from when he's a toddler to an adult to a baby. It goes in order from baby 
to when he come, becomes a big brother and as he gets older. So from youngest, from his young age until he gets older, okay? So I want you to think about what does the author want you to learn about by reading this text? And it really, this story, or this part of the story really talks about um, a timeline, how to make one about your own life and things that could be in a timeline. So um, it said, for example, things that could be in a timeline. When were you born? What exciting things have happened to you? Have you won an award or learned a new skill? Um, the dates that are important in your life. So when you're answering some of those questions, and uh, what does the author want you to learn by reading the text? It does, he doesn't want you to learn about basketball and about trumpet lessons and about planting trees. He is telling you about Trey Main's timeline about his life and how you can make your own timeline about your life and the special events that um, have happened to you, okay? Um, and then it, another question that you're gonna have to um, answer to is what clues help you know this? So what clues help you know that this timeline is about Tremaine's life? Well, one big clue um, is that it's Tremaine's timeline. It's not Tremaine and his brother's timeline. It's not Tremaine and his whole family's timeline. It's Tremaine's timeline. So if you created your own timeline, timeline about your life, it would be Nora's timeline, Nolan's timeline, Heidi's timeline, Brooklyn's timeline, Kennedy's timeline, um, Kari's timeline, Miss Mystic's timeline, okay? Um, if I was writing it about my family, I would write Miss Mystic, Miss Mystic and her family's timeline. Then it's not just about me, it's about more people, okay? So this timeline is specific to Tremaine. It's about his life and his life only. Okay. Um, and then another question that you'll have to answer is explain how the author organized information about how to do this first step. Um, so if you re if we reread this paragraph right here where it says for example, when you were born, um, what exciting things have happened to you? Have you won an award or learned a new skill? Write down the dates of an important events in your life. If you need help thinking of events or dates, ask family members. So um, I want you on the comprehension sheet to think how the author organizes information about how to do the first step. Well, he's giving you ideas. He's telling you examples, and then he gives you some more information about what you can do if you need more help. So I don't remember everything when I was a baby or a toddler, but if I were making my own timeline, I would probably call up my mom or my dad, probably mom, um, and ask them some dates, ask them about it. what were some special things that happened to me when I was younger. Uh, I would obviously put the date um, when I was born and some of other significant or important special events in my life. Okay, so that is for pages 54 and 55. Okay, so those were the first questions um, on that page. Now I'm going to turn to page 56 and we have a couple questions on page 56. Okay, right, so page 56 in your book, it looks like this, called Create Strong Timeline. Okay, and I am going to read this to you first, and then we're going to answer some questions, okay? All right, it says, create your own timeline. Look back at Tremaine's timeline, use it as a model, excuse me, to create, to create your own. Well, they gave us an example of Tremaine's timeline, and now they want us to use that timeline as an example or a model. Just like um, when Miss Mystic, uh, when I um, do some cursive on the board, I give you a model, what to go by, and then you go and do it on your own, okay? So it says step one. So remember, we're talking about chronological order. It doesn't start with step five, step four. It starts with step one, two, three, four, five, okay? So step one, 
write important events from your life on note cards. You could really do it on any type of paper if you wanted. Put the date at the top of the card and write what happened at the bottom. Save space for a picture. So they want you to take. They want you to take a um, a note card or a piece of paper. They want you to um, put the date at the top of the card. So this was born in 1995. So I would put that up at the top of the card and write what happened. I was born. It says space, um, space for a picture, but I'm not going to draw a picture. So that's something that would look it would look like. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So that's what they're talking about there. Then they go on to step two. Arrange all of your note cards in order. Put the earliest event on the top and the most recent event on the bottom. So if Miss Smith I'll write another one here. Give me that example. So in 1995, I was born. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna do so. In 2018, I um, graduated graduated from college. I'm going to write another significant one, give you an idea of one more. Okay. Oh, I'm going to give you two more. 2019 was my first. Teaching job, teaching job, and then in 2000, and actually, I'm going to put winter 2019, and I'm going to put fall 2019, I got engaged. I got engaged. Okay. Woohoo, got engaged. Okay, so I have all of these cards from 1990, 1995 until 2019. Well, if I wanted to arrange all of and I do if I were to arrange these, I wouldn't start with 2019 and got engaged. Because that happened now when I'm 24. And I wouldn't start with I graduated from college because that's not the first thing that happened to me either. I would start with I was born in 1995. Okay, so that would go down first. While I still wouldn't put that I got my first teaching job, I would go to what happened next. Okay, in 2014, I graduated from high school. So that would be next. Um, after 2014, it comes to 2018, I graduated from college. Now it says winter 2019 and fall 2019. Well, I didn't get engaged in um, winter of 2019 and winter becomes comes before fall. So I would write winter 2019, first teaching job and fall 2019, I got engaged. Those are how I arranged them, how I put them in order uh, from the earliest events that happened in my life to the most recent event, okay? So, and then we go to step three. And step three says to add drawings or pictures to your note cards. I'm not gonna do that right now. You can use photographs if your parents say it's okay. So if you had any photos that you could use, you could also do that. Step four, add your note cards to a piece of string with clothespins or paper clips. Put the earliest event on the left and the most current one on the right. You could also, um, instead of using string, you could put them on a tag board, um, or you could just lay them out in order, many different ways. Um, um, and step five, share your timeline with the class. It will be fun to tell your friends about yourself. So if we were in class, yes, I would probably have you do this. Make a timeline of your life and the most important things that have happened so far. Um, we're not in school. But it would be awesome if you did it at home, if you wanted to. Um, that would be pretty cool, especially for you guys to see, you know, the timeline of your life laid out. 
Um, so a couple questions you have to answer on this page are, how are the timeline direction and materials organized, okay? So you'll notice the directions, they're in step. They're in chronological order starting from one to five. That's how they're organized. The materials are listed out for you um, in a separate section. So that's pretty easy. Remember, we've talked about chronological order. They're starting it from the first thing you do to the last thing you do, and then the materials are in order. And then another question you'll have to answer for that comprehension sheet is why did the author organize like organize um, our steps like this? Why did he organize the materials like this? Um, well, for Miss Mystic and probably for you guys, it's easier to look at this page and see, okay, here's the materials I need. Um, they're in a separate thing from the direction. So I, before I made my timeline, I could get all of these materials out. And then once I have all those materials out, I can look at my directions, okay? Um, so it's easy to look at this. It's easy to um, get your materials and then do follow the directions. So it's very easy and efficient. It's in order and... Um, it's easy to keep track of. I can follow step one to step two to step three to step four to step five. Okay, so it's easy to keep track of the things. It's easy, it's organized in a nice way for us. So those are the comprehension questions that you have in your timeline on page 194. So use this video to help you guys with those questions. Um, and you also going to show you guys page 57 and on page 57 it has those three questions that I want you guys to answer. So was there a time where you came to a part of the story that you didn't understand? Um, or tell me what you did. What did you do when you came to a part of the text that you didn't understand? Tell how it helped or didn't help you. So did you reread? Did you think about what you already know? Did you ask your sibling or your mom or dad, okay? Why did the author number the steps on page 56? So on page 56, tell me why he numbered them. Probably to put them in order. And then um, question three, how do the headings and symbols help you find and understand information in this book? I'm just gonna go back a couple of pages and um, kind of show you guys. So this is the heading. So we know that these pages are going to be about Trey Main's timeline. Um, some other pages with headings. So this is about a timeline. Um, so these are the headings. These are some symbols, some pictures to help you out. Okay. That question says, how do the headings and symbols help you find and understand information in the text? Okay. So how do those headings help you? Um, I hope that this video helps you guys. Um, remember, you can always contact me if you guys have questions, and I will be here to help you, friends. So I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to stop this video, and have a great day, guys!